Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier and in my this video, I am going to discuss why moving average filter does not work on the signal which is corrupted by spike noise. So spike noise means suddenly a very high value in noise. Okay, suppose consider this particular small data signal which is having the values 1, 2, 3, 900, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So 900 is a very high value compared to rest of the data points. So we can say this particular data set is corrupted with spike noise. Okay. Now just try to understand the intuition behind the choosing of proper filter for eliminating the noise. In this type of case, we cannot choose moving average filter. We need to choose median filter. Why? Suppose I am calculating median of this particular data set okay one two three nine hundred four five six okay and if i click enter i'll be getting four because what it will do it will arranged in it will be arranged in ascending order so one two three four five six and nine hundred middle value will be four so output it is giving us four you can see if we replace the data by the median of this then we are getting actual trend of the data like this particular value four will give us some idea about our rest of the data points apart from this particular noisy part but if you calculate mean of this data what will happen the mean will be affected by this high value also and due to which mean will increase if you get the mean yeah sorry you will be getting 131.5714 so you can see mean is highly affected by this kind of high value that's what the reason that you should not use moving average filter for those signal processing where the signal is corrupted by the spike noise okay so suddenly if there is a very high value of noise if you apply moving average filter which basically computes mean of the particular window then your mean will be corrupted by the noise value also but here you can see if you compute median then it is not affecting by the spike noise or very high value of the uh, component present in the signal that's why you should prefer always median filter to remove the noise where the noise is spike noise okay so here i have written the same code as i have discussed earlier just let me show you so here i have taken the signal and i have added spike noise in it and then what i have done i have added the noise with the signal and I have first computed using moving average filter and then I have used median filter okay so pause for the time being let me just make rest of the part as comment so I will be clicking that and make that comment so and if I run evaluate selection I will be having my noise corrupted signal and if I zoom suppose one particular part suppose this one I am zooming Try to understand what will happen see here there was a particular trend so then suddenly one spike is appearing okay and if you apply the moving average filter then suppose one particular window is taking care of this particular range then that mean will be corrupted by this particular huge negative negative value right but if you take median then there is very less possibility because median will arrange in ascending order and as a result there is a huge probability that this particular spike will not be coming out as median value right so that's why we should prefer median filter for pro uh, filtering the noise when noise is spiked data okay so now if i run the whole code first let me uncomment this so i'll be clicking and making uncomment and control a then evaluate selection if i do i'll be getting this beautiful outcome where you can see this blue one is our noisy signal this red one is our moving average filtered signal and the green one is the our median filtered signal only here in this particular part it is getting corrupted rest of the part the median filter is following our input trend only but if you check the outcome of the moving average filter see you can see that mean value is affected in a huge amount due to the spikes and it is not following the proper trend whereas this green color median filter is following that right so you should think properly that when 
which filter you should apply to remove the noise from your data set okay whether moving average filter or median filter same goes for image processing also all these filters can be applied in the same con as same concept in digital image processing i'll be showing the examples based on that you can make projects in digital signal processing based on images because images are also one kind of signal right so this is what i wanted to show you where moving average filter fails okay this is all for my this video. I hope you have understood this concept. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and comment. Subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.